Welcome guys sa uh, ating live for today. Ngayon syempre, ngayon nagbabalik yung Inside the Mind of na series, episode number 43 na tayo. 'Di ba? Ang ang dami na, ang dami na naging episodes. Pero sobrang excited daw dito sa guest natin ngayon. Syempre, none other than Nix Enigo. Kumusta, bro? Hey guys, um yeah. Okay, okay naman. I'm doing good and alam mo naman yun, lagi na tayo kakausap. But yeah, I'm happy to uh, be here and yeah, hello sa lahat ng nakikinig. I'm sorry kung may naririnig kayong parang ambulance. So nag alarm na yung, yung lugar namin na bawal na lumabas. Bawal lang nasa labas ka. So I think rinig eh. Kung, kung hindi, well. Ayos ayos so, yan, man. Yo, so ayun guys, uh, ang session natin sa Inside the Mind though, siguro sa mga bago lang dito sa program na to, ano to, uh, more of we want to focus on kung ano na yung nasa utak ni Nix, uh, experiences, learnings, uh, kung ano yung pinagkakaabalahan niya, passions niya, and at the same time, uh, parang ask me anything na rin siya. So for for our friends na syempre, uh, nasa communities tayo ng uh, freelancing, digital marketing, yeah, pag may tanong kayo, yeah, feel free to, ano, feel free to comment. We have, uh, we have one hour to enjoy and have fun. And to learn new things then. Pero syempre, nice. uh, Nix, uh, ito, bigyan ko lang ng konting background si Nix. No? So, personally, uh, without reading any stuff, uh, I I got to know Nix nung mga, siguro, mga t- two, three years ago. Uh, parang, I was really interested in learning social media marketing. And uh, as I was searching the internet, uh, syempre, maraming, maraming lumalabas na mga names dyan. And siyempre na nag-stand out sa akin. Yan, sila Nick Sinigo. Yan, sila Melissa Profeta ng Social Media Academy. While I was uh, checking it out. And good thing, yeah, I have a, yung isa sa mga good friends ko, si Karen. Karen Principe. Hi, Karen. Uh, introduced me to to them. Oh, so, mag, nag, uh, nag-enroll ako sa program nila. And I, I really learned a lot of stuff sa Social Media Academy. And siyempre, si Nick ang um, founder. Kasama niya si Melissa sa Social Media Academy nun. And uh, habang uh, lumalalim na ako sa pag-intindi ng, ng mundo, ng online, di ba? Uh, na, ano, ma-attend ako ng mga workshop, seminars, uh, event summits, ganun. I always see this guy. And isa, isa, ang isang sobrang uh, napansin ko bilang, ako, speaker din naman ako eh. Parang, ang nakita ko dito is yung sobrang galing niya mag-talk sa harap ng crowd. I mean, pag nagsasalita na siya, I mean, mapapansin mo eh, madidifferentiate mo siya dun sa mga speakers eh. Uh, yung energy niya, nandun eh. Tapos ang, ang main na nandun dun yung authenticity. Pero ang mararamdam mo talaga yung passion. So, uh, very very blessed ako din for, for him to uh, be our guest for tonight and super excited to to learn from him. To learn his story. Di ba? <laughs> so, nice. Nice. Ayan. So uh Nick uh, since I gave uh, the background naman um may may we know your story I mean san ano yung ano yung roots mo Yeah kasi marami tayong friends nakilala ka na as as what you're doing right now eh. Actually that's Uh-oh. true uh, mm. and and yeah I was actually yeah excited to to, to share here and uh, I know like uh, the the viewers no madami na rin yan, and a lot of people will be uh, able to hear this so let me just start off by saying yeah I'm going to spend like few minutes basically giving more context into uh who i am and that that's not for anything it's not to it's not to brag but it's really so that you guys so that so that people actually know that things are possible Some, sometimes because when people see you uh, and you know bakit mo magto talk oh. sa stage uh in mga conferences na ganyan na, na nahihirapan din ako like when i'm in front and I give a good presentation, then I, I, I will go down. Normally, ban pa picture and all that. Like, I just want people to know na me being on stage and lahat ng mga picture and lahat ng share ko, it doesn't mean I'm super duper successful. Like, I am not like at the top or anything like that. Pero the perception of people when they see you is ganon. So, um, so hindi ko na challenge yun. Ngayon, gusto kong gawin is, share ko sa inyo, ano ba talaga yung ako na, na beyond those, di ba? Beyond that, that kind of... um thing. So guys, uh, if you can do me a favor, yung mga nakikinig, kung pwede lang, hindi ko kasi siya ma-watch party sa page ko for some reason, kinakain ako ng iPhone ngayon. So, <laughs> kung pwede tulungan niya lang ako, kung, kung gusto niyo, pakishare na lang sa wall niyo or mag-tag kayo ng people. 
Oh, yeah. Super appreciate it. Uh, but yeah, um, yeah, we figure out that. Um, so story. Uh, normally, I start by saying that when I was three uh, and four years old, around that age, meron na modus na ginagawa. So, <laughs> sa mga tita ko, um, sa lumaki ako dito sa, sa Manila, tapos uh, yung mom ko, nag-work madalas talaga sa abroad. So, lumaki ako sa mga tita, lola, gano'n. Gano. May modus ako. So, marami silang mga jewelry noon. Yung mga, alam mo, mga ala-alahas lang ano. It's normally yung jewelry, di ba? It's inside a, um, uh, it has a nice box. Very, very nice box. And, ang ginagawa ko, kukuha ko ng candy, and then yung alahas nila, tatanggalin ko, itatabi ko, kukunin ko yung jewelry box. Lalagyan ko ng mentos, lalagyan ko ng holes, lalagyan ko ng mga fox, and all these different kinds of um, candies. And I would go out and sell, sell the candy na supposedly 50 cents, ibibenta ko na siya ngayon ng 20. Kasi sinasabi ko, naka, ang ganda nung lalagyan na kahon. So, dun, para dun, na, dun ko nalaga... Looking back, no, I was as I was thinking, like where this all started. I I would always remember that, like yung papagalitan, tasya pero mga kapit bahay. Iba balik naman nila yung, <laughs> babalik naman nila yung lalagyan. Eh. Nakukulit na lang alam nila, nakukita na lang sila sa bata. So, so that was when I was younger, and then I, I as I grew up, na tuto ako mag um, trade ng NBA cards. So big NBA fan ako, and Every weekend, easy money, 1,000 to 2,000, minsan 4,000 every Saturday sa Glorieta. So very simple, I would watch, uh, see sino pumutok na player. Kung meron akong ganong card, it means mataas yung value niya. And you guys know the drill, you go there. If you have a high value card, people um, can either pay you cash up front. Pero ako lagi kong pinipili is, uh, give me a lesser card. Siguro bigyan mo ako na medyo mahi, mas mahinang player, tapos magdagdag ka ng cash. So I would get the cash and get the the, the player na hindi sobrang lakas and hihintayin ko yung day na tumaas yung value ng player na yun. And then I would just go back there, rinse and repeat. So like this is, um I think, kind of the origin story of of how I slowly got inside, you know, this uh, this track of of marketing and, you know, and, and um, the industry. Um, and, then, and then lastly, by the time I was 16 years old, 17, Uh, I kind of needed to make money. Um, and like any normal teenager at the time who was addicted to online games, I only knew one thing. And that was to log in sa computer and type the magic words, sa Yahoo pa to, no, na Yahoo pa to. Taga na nun. How to make money online. And mm. with that, with those magic words, na alam ko ang dami rin na yun ang magic words, hit enter and that's when everything changed for me uh nat- nakita ko na you can actually you know earn by writing articles natuto na ako na SEO and that's a whole planet of uh, and I've been sharing these stories since the stage yung scam ako ng Pakistani 1.5 dollars na binabayad niya sa akin for article ay 40 pesos lang tapos bin mail ko siya nahanap ko kung saan siya nakatira sa nag-aaral mga <laughs> anak niya all these things uh, you know kind of help build up you know my interest and um, me being embedded so to speak din sa industry so so yeah um, yun yung parang naging journey na umpisa hanggang ngayon uh, here we are talking right now and a lot has happened nagte-trade ka pa nagte-trade ka pa up to now ng NBA cards no no may so natago ka my, pa diyan no that was my biggest secret talagang ay, oh, akala kong talino ko na eh, na, ah, okay, every week, kung may kita ko, pala ang tong matalino doon, if, if I held on to them. And traded them now. <laughs> diba? I didn't know that. Like, <laughs> I was 12 years old. I didn't know. Uh, wala, wala na. Ah, although, I, no, I think may isa pa na Tracy McGrady, favorite class dati si T-Mac. Oh. May isa pa na somewhere na sa, na sa cabinet na, mga luma cabinet. I think may T-Mac pa akong isa. Pero wala. The rest, yeah. so mga wala na. Nakikita ko kasi yung friend ko din, si uh, si Luigi. Sobrang, ang laki pare, ang laki ng business ngayon. Si Gary, yes, di ba oh. nag-go nag- into card trading? Parang ganun. Um, ngayon, ngayon, pinupush oh, niya. So, pinupush niya ngayon. Yung mga presyo daw ng cards ngayon, bro, nag... <laughs> yes, na. exactly. Sa so, last dance kung, ngayon, bro. Yung, yung mga ano, yung mga yun talaga. If you if you have a Pippen or MJ, Rodman, kahit siguro Steve Kerr, baka maka-netto maka ka ng maganda. <laughs> 
Oh yeah, sobrang oh, sobrang Fun fact, stupid. never ako nakakuha ng Jordan sa booster packs. Never. Pero nag na, na, bumili ka rin. Yung, yung na, na flip ko si Jordan. Uh, oh. Na flip ko si Jordan pero never ko siya nakuha. Hindi ko alam. Oh. I don't know if rare. Hindi ko alam actually yung yung ano nila doon. But, but yun, yun yung masaya doon. It's yung value nun, pwede mo i-trade talaga. And... Itingin ka pa sa Beckett. <laughs> <laughs> Dati, oh, oh, wala, naabuto ako kasi yung time na ano yung, yung Beckett, ano siya eh, para siyang monthly na na magazine eh. Talaga Uh-oh. titignan mo yung presyo doon. Tapos ngayon, Uh-oh. online na siya eh. Online na siya. Oo. Saya, saya. Cool, Simpler cool, times. Uh, cool, kung hindi lang talaga binomba yung Glorieta, baka nagtuloy-tuloy yung business ko na yun. <laughs> Sino na bomba siya? I think it was 2000 something, di ba na bomba yun? Yung part, yeah. yung new area na nabomb eh. Yung sa, ano, well, oh, syempre hindi na ako pinapapunta doon. Ah, doon do na nag-stop, no? Pero, oh. sige, paliban sa gaming, uh, I've, I've heard uh, you also did rap before. Oo, oh, nakakatawa to, ah. Sige. Hindi <laughs> uh, <laughs> mo na kwento. Oh, Teka lang, full cool out na. Naka, <laughs> nakakahiya. Oo, oh, guys, so actually, sa mga nakikinig, uh, medyo na, medyo nag-venture in tayo sa hip-hop. Okay? Uh, ganito kasi yan. Ganito yung story yan. Um, So when I was nine, actually guys, uh, gusto ko rin mag-apologize. Like, minsan hindi ko na talaga malala kung ilang taon ako nung mga nangyari yung mga bagay. So lagi akong bibigay rage. Ang hirap eh. Ngayon, 27 ako. Ngayon, hindi ko na maalala. Pero sige, sabi natin, 19, 18, 19, 20, I can't remember. Um, so yun nga, nag-start na ako ng online, may online business na ako, nag-sell to articles. And then, na- nag-venture out ako into ano, na-discover ko yung website uh, called fiverr.com. So, if yung mga nakikinig na freelancers, wala mga alam yung Fiverr.com. And sa so Fiverr, nagbenta ako ng services. Uh, dun, ginawa ko siyang additional channel to earn more money. Okay? So, meron akong direct clients na nakukuha ko sa mga forums, uh, na marketing forums na part ako. And at the same time, gumawa ko ng Fiverr. Sabi ko, baka okay ito. Baka, baka I, can, I can venture out here, start my own shop sa Fiverr. And magka-clients ako. Mm. And then nagulat na lang ako. Um, yun nga, medyo nag-thrive. Naging level 1 siya, naging level 2 siya, hanggang naging level 3. At some point, bigla ako na- na- nakakuha ng clients na mga hip-hop artists. Okay? So mahilig din kasi ako sa rap. Ang uh, fan ako, Eminem, ganyan. So like, oh, okay. So apparently, like, na-hire ako ng mga talent manager ng mga ibang hip-hop artists. Like si, at that time, hindi pa sila sikat ha. Uh, or papaus mo pa lang si... Lupe Fiasco, Kendrick Lamar, yung mga pinagawa sa aking org as I was like promoting them on forums. So doon parang mas, mas na-feel ko na parang, oy okay, sige, hip-hop, hip-hop, sige nga, hanggang, syempre lagi ako sa forums, ginanahan ako magsulat, so nagsulat na ako ng mga bars, nagsulat na ako mga rap, lyrics, ganyan. Ang ganyan mating sa point na, na wala lang, at some point, naging ano na, na nagbabattle rap na ako. <laughs> Nagre-record na ako ng mga kanta. Parang na ano ako, na-ingrain ako. Sumali pa ako sa isang reality show na na rap dito sa Pilipinas. Basta huwag okay, na natin bangitin. And yun, <laughs> nag-battle rap din ako. So kung familiar kayo sa flip top, hindi ako sa flip top lumaban pero sa mga similar leagues. Uh, almost, uh, could, have, could have had a battle there also. Pero nag-walk away na tayo bago pa dumating yung, yung opportunity na yun. So yeah, na-involve ako dyan sa mundo na yan for a while. Pero face lang yun. Um, hindi ko siya nag talaga. Pero last week, I think nag-record ako ng, <laughs> nag-record ako ng kanta kasi may tinatawag na 24, 24 bars, uh, 24 mark beats challenge, parang gano'n. So, natag ako, tas ginawan ko. Pero baka hindi ko na-release yun. Release, release. Uh, okay, comment, release. Kung... Tingnan natin. Sige. Pag, <laughs> pag, pag, may 20 na, pag may 24 na nag-comment ng release dito sa... Uh, yeah sa page sa nakikinig 24 oh. 24 24 comments na and, 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 and baba ah. 30 sige 34 yeah, comment ng release i-release yeah. ko i-release comment ko. lang kayo guys ah. kasi halo-halo na yung pages natin nag cross post sa last <laughs> <laughs> hindi ko matry yung messages nagkasabay-sabay ganun pala yun pag may nag comment sa iba hindi ko makikita eh nakakatawa dito hindi ko na nga siya ma mag watch party literal <laughs> So yeah, guys, sige, comment lang kayo. Comment, Pag comment marami na comment, i-release ko talaga yan. I-review na sa namin inyo. yung ibang pages. Kasi actually, more than 8 pages yata siya naka-cross post. Eh. So, actually, actually, yung mga umatend ng ano, yung mga umatend ng pa- Christmas party ng SMA dati, saka noon, ah. off, 
yon na natikman nila yung mga natikman raps natin. Natikman nila yung fire score. Nag, nag, oh, natikman nila. Nag, nag, pinilit ako nila si CJ. Eh, sa kami na Mel eh. Pero okay, other okay, than okay. that. <laughs> Ayan wala. guys. Uh, comment nyo lang. Okay, comment nyo lang. So, so, nung mga panahon na yun, um, ano naman, let's talk about uh, your, your passions. I mean, uh, hindi naman hindi naman sa itatago natin. No? Huwag ka laro rin kami ni Nix kasi most of the time, either Mobile Legends or Super War. Pero uh, what 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 led you to gaming? Oo. Sige, actually yes. Gaming very very simple. Um growing up talaga, I was in, an introvert. I still am an introvert. So syempre, as a boy lang ako, computer, talagang talagang mapapamahal ka sa mga online games, di ba? Yung mga panahon na naka-dial up pa, ISP Bonanza, i-click mo, para lang makapaglaro ako, uh, Ragnarok Online. Kaya ako na-discover yun, pumunta sila sa school, sa school ko. Imagine, ganun pa yung marketing dati, pumunta sila sa school, na namigay sila ng CD, and that day, actually, I was grade 5. That day, I would say, is one of like the most... Um, iconic or memorable day sa buhay ko. Kasi, yung binigay, nagbinigyan ako ng CD ng Ragnarok Online na yan. Siyempre, uwi ako nang install ako. Guys, to this day, naglalaro pa ako ng Ragnarok Online. And, oh, hindi yun yung dahilan. Hindi yun yung dahilan bakit uh, iconic ka. As in, yung, yung Ragnarok game online na sa PC, yung naglalaro pa din siya. Pero hindi yun yung dahilan ba't iconic? Sabi ko iconic is because that game and gaming in general, so that game got me into gaming and gaming in general and specifically also that game helped me uh, with marketing with sales uh, understanding market understanding people talking to people giving me confidence nakatos isipin pero for introverts mm. uh, like me you would need an outlet where you can practice these real world things uh-huh. na hindi mo magagawa but it gave me a platform di ba sa Ragnarok Online pwede akong magsisigaw dun eh so, dito hindi eh di ba sa mundo so <laughs> Ganon. And then, the strategies. And guys, ah, hindi na, ayaw ko nang buhatin yung bangko namin ni Ken Ken. Pero Google nyo guys, mga gamers, pagdating may study na strate- strategic, mas strategic. Kung gamer ka, mas strategic ka and na-apply mo sa iba-ibang aspects ng life. So, yan. Sa so, mga parents na nanonood, yung mga kids nyo, oh. hindi ko may sinabing pag-adikin nyo sila ng 12 hours a day. Pero pagbigyan nyo kahit onti, I think, nakatulong. Yung mga, hindi ako nakikinig sa nanay ko nung tinuloy ko lang. Nakatulong. <laughs> Joke lang ako, ako, pr- ako pr- proud ako dun. Sayo din sa mom ko. Uh, <laughs> Shout out sa mga nanay. <laughs> <laughs> na, ay, puro lang lang po. Araw. <laughs> <laughs> and, and the most <laughs> ironic thing, no, bro, the most ironic thing was, before, tama sila. Nala ko, wala ka mararating dyan sa paglalaro. Ngayon, hindi. Ang daming mas mayaman. Kahit pag samasamahin mo yung network nating dalawa at ng mga nanonood dito, may mga 11 years old na naglalaro, mas makayaman sa ating lahat combined, di ba? Ang gagaling pa. Iba yung level of thinking nila tsaka yung calculation. Kaya, yun nga eh. Um, kung titingnan natin ngayon, sabi nga nung kaibigan ko, alam mo, pag uh, lumaki tong anak ko, unang tuturo ko dyan, last hit. <laughs> paano mag last hit? Paano maka last hit? Oh, paano maka last hit sa aiming daw sa headshot. Yung mga ganun. Pero very, very important guys kasi nakita ko rin yung effectivity nun sa, sa mind, uh, yung competitiveness. Ang ganda rin, ang ganda. Uh, yung strategy, yung pag-hone uh, mo ng strategies, pag-isip ng mga tao ngayon. Uh, games really help. Yeah. So, kaya ngayon, camaraderie rin. Uh, kami, masaya maglaro pagkasawa mga kaibigan mo eh. Pag mag-isa ka, parang... Mm, oh, yes. Yeah. <laughs> even, even though, like, going ka na lang simple, sa so mga naglalaro dyan, Mobile Legends, mga ganong games, diba? mm. Marvel yung nalaro natin. It teaches you a lot, like, when, even in life, and even in business, and even with your work, kailan ka lulusog? So, kailan ka mag-take action? Kailan ka magbabak? Diba? Kailan ka tatakas muna ka dahil hindi pa yun yung tamang time? Like, I want ko, ha? parang sobrang... Kaya talaga isa sa mga ano ko, like mga dreams ko, like in the future at some point in time, maybe not now, maybe not in the next few years, but someday mag, maging, magkaroon ako ng business na related sa gaming talaga. Parang yun yung... Maging manager ka na, Nix. Goal ko. <laughs> Mag-manager Man. ka na ng team. <laughs> Hindi, Mag-manage tingnan natin. Na hindi, hindi ko, ano siya, like some, someday, maybe. Maybe not now, hindi pa siya yung priority hmm. ko, pero nasa ano yun, na, like it would be fun. Yun, yun. Kasi, uh, yeah, leading leading to it, 
uh, punta naman tayo dun sa main topic natin for tonight. Kasi uh, ang, ang tagline natin, ang topic natin for tonight is how obsession leads to success. Yeah, could, mm-hmm. you, could you share more about um, how, how that is? Yeah, uh, actually, so ganda siya. Like, pinisip ko, ano kayang, ano kayang maganda topic? Ayaw ko kasi na ayaw ko na, usual, and like last week, nag, nag, nagbigay na rin tayo ng marketing na talk and madalas ganun. So, sabi ko, what's the one thing na I see? Not not just for me, but like, I like observing people kasi. And I like, you know, I'm big fan of history. And I think, you know, success leaves blue uh, uh, clues. Uh, success leaves footprints. And the most successful people, you know, you it's we are at an advantage because we can, we already see Diba? We already see the path that they took. So, mas kaya natin siya ma-emulate. And the one thing that I learned, I'm thankful that I learned early on, is one of the common denominators for the successful people. And I, I and that was like the one thing that I drilled down inside my head for every day of my life. So that I can, you know, do the, the thing that I love, which is marketing, and uh, be good at it, and be better, and hopefully in the future be better, better, better pa, is obsession, right? So the most successful people become obsessed with that one thing, and and the rest is history, right? You wake up every day with the intention that I'm going to be one of the best doing this, doing X, and if you do that every day and you put in the necessary work to do that every day, you can get there. And one of the biggest role models I have for this, actually going back to him, uh, he passed away last February was Kobe Bryant, right? So Kobe Bryant is, I grew up hating the guy because I was a big fan of like the teams that he would normally destroy, like the Sacramento Kings in 2001. But Kobe Bryant, for me, like, for the casual fans and the casual listeners, you guys would think he's a top player. Yes, I agree. But if you look deeper, he was never the most athletic. He was never the tallest, the most, you know, skilled. But he was obsessed to be to be the best, to be one of the best. And akalain mo yun, he got there. Uh, he's a consensus top 10 uh, NBA player in history. Even though he didn't have all the necessary tools and you know the 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 God given ano talaga na pure talent to be there, but it was because every day he would be at the gym at 4 a.m. Siya yung huling lalabas. He took great care of his body. He studied all the greats. He became obsessed with basketball, and he got there. And I can draw more and more stories uh, from this. And hindi tayo matatapos ito. But, but I'll just leave that one example. And to this day, that's kind of been my my North Star in terms of how how I'm going to approach uh, every day, how I'm going to approach things that I get myself involved in, how I'm going to approach, you know, uh, growing myself even more. In, in, in this case, the vertical that I'm in now is marketing. Every day, I wake up. It's not the first thing I say. It's not like I'm chanting a prayer or what, but it's a, I'm I'm self conscious. I'm I'm self aware that every day, I want to be one of the best, uh, in marketing, one of the best marketers in the world, uh, is my goal. And I don't know, maybe someday, uh, we can get there. Um, sana sana. Pero the only thing that I'm sure of is I'm not gonna get there if I don't obsess on it if magpabanjing banjing lang ako if like kampante lang ako aasa lang ako sa kung meron uh, I'm not gonna get there so yeah that's kind of the uh, what, what inspired me to like uh, you know you know riff with this this topic uh, on with you and, and I think it's the secret or one of the secrets uh, that allowed me to accelerate faster than normal because I think that's yeah. what a lot of people say like Especially nung mas bata ba ako, nung 25 pa lang ako, parang, oh, 125 ka pa lang, dami mo na nagawa, ganyan, ganyan. And like, those wouldn't be possible if I didn't obsess about it, di ba? Totoo ako. Hindi ka lang, may naalala lang ako. Ano yung post dati yun? 26 ako, tapos, ano, ano yung, yung parang nag, yung nagpo-post ng mga achievements sila? Naalala mo ba yun? Ah, yung ano, yung, 
20, 20 years old. Tas oh, may 20 ganito, years ganito. old. Oh, may coach. May coach siya na ako. <laughs> wala, 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 wala. Pero guys, going back to the topic. Um, next, could you share? Kasi na, 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 sinulat ko dito eh. Very, very important yung clarity of golden. I mean, uh, do you have any tips for our friends watching on how they could be clear with their goals? Kasi pwede nga dami. Yung sa'yo specific eh. Uh, be the best marketer. Diba? Specific siya eh. Um, yung iba, I mean, we have a lot of friends na sobrang ang dami. Ang daming gusto. Uh, uh-huh. any, any tips on how they could make it more specific? Right, so like parang ma- parang passion, parang madaming passions and gustong gawin. Yeah, oh, kasi yun nga, uh, para at least uh, alam nila kung saan sila mag-obsess. Yeah. Mas so actually, yeah. uh, especially now 2020, there's this thing called um what do you call this? Uh, shiny object syndrome, right? Yeah, shiny mas object. mas ano siya, mas mas prone tayo ngayon diyan in 2020. Why? Dami. Easy access to social media. Dami na ko post. Um, there's always that next thing that that people hype you on or tell you that this is the next thing that you have to be. Ano, Siyempre tayo, ah, oh, okay, sige, try ko, ganyan, ganyan. Um, uh, my, my goal is para hindi ka matrap dun sa endless loop of, of, of China Object Syndrome is identify what's that one thing that you're really good at and you enjoy doing, Right? I'm sure meron yan. Kung hindi mo alam yan, ask your friends, ask your family. Masasabi, baka masabi nila sa'yo, baka matulungan ka nila. Find that one thing. And if you know, based on survey or research, na alam mo na yung one thing na yon is can be profitable, and may nakikita ka na ibang tao na nagsasaksi the space na yon, then go hard. Huwag kang manghinaan ng loob. Kasi marami nagkukwit bago pa sila. Alam mo yun, okay lang mag-fail, pero hindi ako fan nung mag-fail ka na mag-fail na mag-fail. Hindi, at some point, medyo ano na, insanity is doing the same things over and over again, di ba? Expecting yeah. the same result. Hmm. Pwede ka mag-fail, pero make sure you don't nag-fail ka sa isang bagay na alam mo na you had a fighting chance, di ba? It means na, yun, pwede ka pa mag-try ulit. Kasi yung iba, magkaroon lang ng one rejection, they give up. Di ba? Like, one person who say no to you, wala na. Your whole world crashes. Parang kang uh, binasted ng babae sa high school, di ba? Pag nag-no sa'yo, kala mo, pakangit mo or like siraan yung buhay mo. Maraming ganun mag-approach ngayon, eh, kahit adults na eh. So I think that would be the thing. Like, find that one thing that you know you're good at and can be monetized and marami rin nagsasabing magaling ka doon or at least kahit yung magaling na magaling na may potential ka doon, then focus on that, obsess about it, train, read. Ilang libro binasa ko, ilang videos pinanood ko, ilang courses ang kinonsume ko, yeah. ilang talks ang pinakinggan ko ilang words ang sinulat ko every day repetition repetition yun talaga repetition is the mother of all skill yun nga yun eh. <clears throat> pero yun 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 guys eh uh, napansin niyo yung mindset and eh. ang laki din ng bagay eh and with with that in mind ang next question ko dito next is um maliban dun sa what, what tips uh, ano yung mga affirmation na na usually na sinasabi mo sa sarili mo kasi kanina sabi mo yung everyday you say to yourself na I'm gonna be the best uh, are there other affirmations that you say to yourself on a daily basis actually hindi ko like yung ganyan like, hindi ko sinasabi na talaga wala, wala akong chant or words eh mm. it's just like uh, knowing na yun yung na gusto yeah, ko so... siyang marating because it's not for selfish reasons. Eh. Um, so one of the things that I used to talaga before is I need to be like, how do you say this? Really to make an impact in the world. Mm. Like as like if you really want to help as many people as you can and really have real impact, you have to have some some level of influence. Eh. Not just in, mm. with a few people. Like some sort of power, diba? And this is achieved by politicians. Kung siyempre, kung presidente ka isang bansa. Like, or if you're like, Jeff Bezos or or Elon Musk na may ganong clout, di ba? Like, wag sabi sila. Like, they can impact people because of that thing. Eh, ako, I, hindi naman ako ganun. Hindi mo ako Elon Musk, hindi mo Jeff Bezos. So, pero, pero gusto kong humanap ng one thing na I could, like, be, like, create, where I can create my influence, di ba? And hopefully, create some bigger impact in the future, which is what I really want 
to do. And just so happened na yun nga, yung marketing yung nakikita ko pa. That's that's what's help, how, hopefully, di ba? I get to that point. Kasi yun eh, yun yung nakikita ko reality. It, it's who you know, di ba? Yung sinasabi yeah. nga, it's who you know. And like, kung gusto ko man tulungan yung buong Pilipinas, kung hindi man ako uh, BFF ni, ano, ng president or what, kung hindi ako part, di ba gano'n? But the only, the only way mo ma-achieve yun is if you do something noteworthy consistently and you're, you're, you, you can create bigger impact. So, that's kind of the big picture. Um, that that that's my philosophy and yun kaya yun yung parang sabi ko hindi like kung gusto ko talaga ng real real impact to like a lot of people hindi pwedeng ganito lang hindi pwedeng limang tao lang tulungan mo like you yeah. have to really get get in there uh siguro add ko lang doon next ah uh, nandun nakita ko kasi sa iyo you're nandun ka na sa next stage eh. nandun sa uh, hindi na who you know eh nandun ka na sa who knows you Uh, okay. Ano nga na eh. And uh, nakita ko, you, you, you've been helping a lot of people then sa space. Sa daming spaces, ang daming communities, pare. Nakita ko sa startup, startup groups, nakita sa marketing groups. Ang dami mm-hmm. na eh. Pero siguro, mat- matanong ko lang din, um, since you're you're one of the founders of SMA, ang, ang tanong ko doon is, what led you to actually founding SMA? Social Media Academy. Oh, so SMA actually was never supposed to happen. Um, at that point in time so this was like three, three plus years ago um pangit ang pangit na mindset ko noon like, sabi ko scam yung mga like ayo hindi ako believer ng mga course or online ano sabi ko hindi ako nga at that point puro youtube lang inaral ko tapos nag forum sa ako but then every day people would ask me if there was something at i had because Um, I would constantly post on Facebook groups. I could co- was constantly share. I would do some random videos, kenyan talks, and people would be like, "Meron ka bang course? Is there that one thing that we can learn more from you?" And done. So I said, "Like fine, okay." Because ano, in request na napadamin tao, so sige, gawa na lang tayo. Until yun, it, until like it was kind of like the I didn't validate any idea or I didn't try to like pre-sell something. It's, it was like. Demanded by people because of the value that was built up for a long period of time, and I had to do it. And but yeah, obviously, syempre, my mindset naman changed around it. Na hindi na, it's not ano na hindi na siya, hindi na siya. Yung para napilitan lang. Syempre, as you did, as you do it, you get students. You see transformation. You see. Syempre, papa mahal ka narin sa ano and like the, the, that mission of helping. And it was it became one avenue uh, where mm-hmm. mas marami tayong natutuluan. So. I think that's that's really the good thing about it. It became one avenue where mas madaming nabibigyan ng opportunities na, yeah. Uh, and and yeah, so that that was really the start it was because people asked for it. Mm, okay. De, uh, iniisip ko kasi sa dami na nung, well, thousands and thousands na yung mga taong na turuan mo next eh. Uh, matanong ko lang, uh, siguro, Meron ka bang student na masabi mo talagang nag-stand out? Di talagang, marami nag-stand out eh. Pero kung meron kang may isa na sobrang nag-stand out, sino yun? Nako, hindi ko gagawin yan. Nakikinig <laughs> yun. Ayoko. Parang, parang sa teacher, favoritism. Oh, hindi favoritism. Oh. No, wag. Pasta ko dyan. Pero madami. Madami ang stand out. And actually, yung natuwa ko. Yung mga iba kasi, sobrang. And, and yeah. I think this was... This was both a blessing and a curse, no? Um, but more so a blessing, because curse it's not like I don't I don't lose sleep over it. But like we literally had students who just consumed one or two modules mm. out of the dozens and dozens, and it literally changed their lives. And they never watched anything else in the the video. Like, what I mean, is that one of them executed it over and over and over again, and, and today, yung parin yung so ako sa clients pa din so like yeah, I had I had one person na di lang isa pero like merong mga ganun na they just consume like one or two and that's it they run away with it and okay na talaga sila so madaming ganun and maraming maraming marami dyan na lalim from batch one sobrang tagal na nun um, and, and like honestly syempre yung iba hindi na rin nakakanood or hindi na nakakasubaybay so parang it was three years ago so siguro parang I already did my part sa buhay nila The, that year, no? And n- n- baka now, yung SMA mismo na program. Although they still, you know, some of them would still watch itong mga get interviews or mag-message pa din sa akin and seek advice. But like, in terms of the course, syempre, 
maybe you grow and and you that's your 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 past that so that's a blessing and that's really that's really good because at the end of the day you want to see transformation from people yeah. and if if you can help them with even just one thing actually that's the most that's the funniest thing about workshops and courses because when you think about it people pay what like one pag event mga ganyan, like 500, 1,000, 2,000, mm. 3,000, course, 7,000, 10,000. They pay that. If you bring, at, if you can just help them with one thing that can bring them a result, or what, like, it pays 10 folds, diba? Or 100 folds uh, already. So, yun yung ironic part talaga. It's like, investing in yourself is super underrated. Na, minsan, nagkukuripot lang talaga yung mga tao na they don't do it because of many reasons. Maybe you've been burned before, blah, blah, blah. But and that's okay. But like really, when I look back, I mean, I'm saying the first philosophy na di pa di mo mo YouTube lahat yah Google Google which is ang ginawa ko. But listen, it took me years. I did that, but it took me years. But oh, programs yeah. like mentorship and all that, I mean, the years you can achieve in like month, months, month or two, di ba? So yun oh, yeah. yung I think the magic, the magic of it all. Shortcut, the learning shortcut, mentoring. Uh-huh. Pero syempre, before, well, nasa halfway na tayo ng usapan natin. Pero siguro, acknowledge lang natin yung mga friends natin joining in. So, hi sige guys. Hindi ko sila nakikita. Eh, hindi ko rin nakikita. Hindi ko Please check. comment kayo. Hindi ko rin Hindi ko alam kung nasa oh. kayo talaga. Pero... Si, sa Zoom, nandito si Claire. Hi Claire. Si Francis, uh, Kim Santos, si Ja, nandyan, friend ko. Uh, si Cecilia Villena, si Teo. Yep. Yeah. If ever, yeah, yun nga. If may questions kayo, yeah, comment lang kayo dito sa ating Zoom. And uh, dito sa, ano kasi, sa Facebook, yeah, naka-live naman tayo. Naka-post na rin tayo sa mga groups naman. Hi sa mga friends natin dyan. Sa off, sa SMA, sa mga sales group na sineran ko, sa HR groups na sineran ko rin. Yeah, well, what's up, what's up, welcome. Pero yeah, if you have any questions, lan na it, it's in regards to online marketing then or anything that's nandun sa expertise ni Nix, uh, yeah, probably would be, would be glad to take them in. <laughs> Hindi lang natin alam saan titignan. As in, wala uh, kong kitang ko. Uh, Hindi ko alam yeah, ano yung yeah. main post eh. Saan saan ba ito main na nakalagay? Lahat, la- ang, ang alam ko pag nakakross post, lahat main post. Okay, so, okay. Like, oh, parang lahat ng pages nandun siya eh. So, hindi ko makita kung, yeah, mag-comment lang kayo. And then... <laughs> oh, wait lang guys, isa-isay na kayo. <laughs> Hanapin namin yan. Pero sige, moving, moving forward, well, matitingnan naman natin yan mamaya. Uh, next, in regards to to marketing uh, per se, kasi ang lawak, ang lawak ng online marketing. Ang lawak, ang dami, ang dami. Like you said, uh, SEO, meron, meron pang iba't uh, paggawa ng mga website, diba? graphic design. And, and dami Facebook pag Facebook pages, social media management, social media marketing, social media strategy, funnels, 'di ba? I mean, where where do we start? <laughs> Siguro the start would always be and I always say this kasi I I often throw around the word digital marketing and I've been throwing around that word even when it was still weird to do so early 2000 and not early you know, mga early before the 2010s diba mm. um binabata natin yun and hindi pa siya ganoon ka accepted and actually funny enough before talagang nilapit ka sa mga brands like di nila tatanggap hindi na iba din naniniwala sa Facebook page din sabi pambata lang yan or what yung mga ganoon sobrang dami ganoon good times good times um so i but I, even though i throw around the word digital marketing a lot i would always say the first step is learn marketing the principles of marketing. Yeah, alamin mo yung <laughs> wag, forget digital, forget anong platform ang best. Wag mo na isipin yun. For literally starting out, learn marketing. And uh, how you do that, I would recommend you uh, there are great books on it na pong starters which is uh, mostly by Seth Godin. I would recommend them because yep. it's very easy to read. It's short. So there's, this is marketing. Um, there's uh, also Purple Cow and uh, there's the other one na uh, teka anong, anong title na yung teka 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 uh, wait sinek ko lang na yung Purple Cow eh uh, wait 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 yung alam ko yung ano yung cover nyo wait lang guys kailangan ko sabihin yung search ko lang Purple Cow ito 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 um oh yun 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 may dalawa pa so all marketers uh, no, sa kanil all marketers sa lives yung ano yung 
information marketing. Yan. So, yun yung mga, yun yung mga parang basic para, para at least malaman mo what marketing is. So, obviously, syempre, may mga babanggit siya doon na digital marketing, ano na, mga platforms. Pero kasi doon mo mga ano yung concept of ano eh, yung ano ba talaga siya, di ba? So, research about it, um, learn more about it. And actually, it wouldn't hurt to even check Udemy or or yung like basic marketing courses, yung malaman mo yung mga 4Ps, yung mga ganyan, product price, promotion, placements, 8Ps or 16, na dami na. Like, those basic principles, I would think, would be would be fundamental um for you so ako i i rarely credit college for anything na i mean <laughs> i still believe the education system needs a lot of work but yung course ko kasi was communication arts so syempre medyo na exposed din ako kahit papaano sa marketing doon so thank you pa din pero in the but yeah is good doon doon yung mga basic principles so i think it would uh, you would start there and when once you get a better understanding there you you can then uh, start to one by one select uh, different verticals and try to try to work around it and ang pinaka magiging tip ko talaga and I think this was very helpful nag helpful sa akin was even when I had no experience pa on anything the case study my like the most effective case study that I always had was myself if I wanted to learn to, how to blog I, I started a blog my own blog you know I wanted to learn how to do Facebook ads. I ran my own Facebook ads. I created my uh, a, a page kahit hindi siya totoong business, di ba? Uh, dumating pa lahat sa point na nag-aaral din ako ng e-commerce noong 2012, 2013. Uh, kasi at, at that point, nag-try din kami mag-drop, uh, mag-print on demand sa US. So okay. medyo kumita na. Pero before that, syempre wala pa ako alam. Gumawa ako ng fake na page. Gumawa ko page. Hindi fake. Gumawa ko page. Okay, tapos nagbenta akong product. Tapos may mga umorder, eh wala pa naman akong product. So, ni-refund ko lang. I mean, binabalik ko lang yung pera. So, hindi mo tayo nang naluloko. Pero, I needed to do that so I could learn it. Kasi, hindi pwedeng puro theory lang o puro pagbabasa lang. And I think, inyong yung naging main excuse ng mga mga tao ngayon eh. Na they want to learn a skill, mag-enroll sa course, di sila mag-succeed. Eh, wala naman ako makuha ang client. Eh, wala naman ako ano. Eh, di, sarili mo gawin mo client mo. Gumawa ka ng business. Or gumawa ka ng page. Gusto mo matuto mag-email marketing, pwede mag-email, gumawa ka na email list, sarili mo, mag-email ka. Diba? Hindi mo naman kailangan ng no client agad. Like, you have to put, if you can't do something, like, you have to take matters, sometimes you take matters into your own hands. Then do hmm. it. Do it for you, di ba? Yeah. Pero, uh, very important yan kasi ako, sobrang agree ako dun eh. Parang, sinisimulan ko, katulad ngayon, sinisimulan ko lahat test ko lahat sa akin. So, okay lang magkamali. I mean, <laughs> walang problema magkamali doon. Kasi, yes. ako lang naman yun eh. Pero, yeah, wala akong madi-disappoint. Dun, uh, yeah, wala akong madi-disappoint. And, uh, kahit magkamali, it's learning. Yun yung, yun yung maganda doon. Uh, Tapos, tuloy-tuloy lang. Ang dami ko pong pwedeng eksperimentohan. Kaya, uh, paulit-ulit lang, I've, I've, I've always uh, followed yung tinuro nyo rin sa online marketing ni Mel doon sa course. And then, yun lang, steady, slowly, nag-improve naman yung, yung ginagawa ko from graphics to, to presence, di ba? To approach. Uh, just testing, te- testing everything. Ganda na. Pero siguro, next, ano, may, what's, what's next for you? I mean, sabihin na natin, uh, COVID season ngayon. And we know na hindi pa natin alam kung hanggang, hanggang kailan talaga ang quarantine, di ba? Uh, what's, what's next? I mean, this question has been thrown around oh, every time pag nasa mga interview tayo or summit. Pero I do think it's important now. Eh. What What are your insights on this? What's next? Um, mm. I think now people realize that um, sa mga listeners natin who are who um who are who have um work or like kung nara employees kayo of certain company, um. I think now we can all agree na there is no such thing as stable. Diba? Laging sinasabi before pag employee ka, ayaw mo freelance. Hindi, ayaw ko freelance, hindi man stable dyan eh. May work ako. Dito, stable to. I think what this shows is actually walang stable. Diba? And it's kind of up to us to try and create our own economy for ourselves. Diba? So how do we do that? And I think ngayon, Dito talaga. It, it, I think this was the 
inflection point. I hope I'm using the dami kasi mga point, vantage point. Infle- yeah, it's inflection <laughs> point for sure. Uh, it's a masarap ko meeting words. So, I think this is the inflection point where people really finally realize that even if you're an employee, start start a business. Even if you're an employee, start a side hustle. And I, and I think more and more people will do that. And millions and millions of people have lost their jobs. And if I'm being completely honest, this is globally, okay? Uh, millions and millions, hindi ko na ma-check din last. Basta, mil- more than 10 million for sure. Or 6 million, ganyan. And uh, sadly, 97? If, if we go by the averages, syempre, 90 to 97%, maybe not even 98% of them, wala. They might not recover or not recover as fast. Or they will just wait for the day then uh, makapag-work na ulit sila. Yeah. But to everyone, I highly encourage you to not carry that mindset. I want us to carry the mindset na kahit may trabaho ka ngayon, get, get started. Start something. Do something. Um, do something around your pa- what, around the, maybe a passion or around a skill that you're really good at. Start. If you're, if, you're, um, if you're sales director for a company right now, sales manager, start a sales, maging sales consultant ka. Mag, tay, gawa ka ng sarili mong ano, Facebook page, maging sales consultant ka. Um, maraming may kailangan yan. If you're a, if you're a teacher, a uh, math teacher, make a YouTube channel. Teach math on YouTube, right? If you're, do something. Do something. It's not, it's, it, this is the time to do something for your, for yourself. Na beyond a job or beyond kung ano yung ginagawa mo ngayon. Create several income streams because, now is the time to do it. Eh. Now is the time to do it. May, baka mas maaring mahirap because of the market conditions, pero you have the advantage of time. You have the advantage of like basically the situation where mas, mas open nga mga tao to anything online. So imagine it's the great equalizer. Kung introvert ka, hirap na hirap ka. Like, hindi, dati hindi ka makakag-start ng business kasi takot kang humarap sa tao na makipag-usap well, ngayon, hindi mo na sila nalang harapin. Mag-chat na lang kayo. Tawagan mo na lang. You can close deals on the phone or on yeah, chat. Yeah, diba? Yeah. Like, it's the great equalizer for everyone. And and I'm not... But anyway, anyway uh, by the way, guys, I'm not trying to downplay the pandemic. Like, it's horrible, okay? So, let's let's put that aside. I just, just want to clear that. Hindi ko sinasabing, wow, oh, let's take advantage. Hindi. I, I feel for what's happening. I'm just saying from the standpoint of the eco- economy and you uh where it mm-hmm. goes uh where you're gonna go from here where we're gonna go from here it's really that eh, the this is the era of online businesses online side hustles ito na yun. mag and and the and the only way to get ahead is if you start now if you started yesterday uh pero yeah pwede ka pwede pa ngayon pwede pa bukas pwede pa next week just start because yung mga sinabi ko yung millions of millions na nawalan mm. at some point Iba dyan, babangon din. Madidip, maano na, ma-realize nila. Ay, sige nga, gawa na nga ako ng profiles upward. Ah, sige nga, gawa na ako Instagram page. Ah, okay, gagawa. Tadami yung competition mo. So, it's gonna, so magbap, this is crazy, okay? So, I'm gonna find the interview I did um, three years ago with si Mamu Liberty. Mamu hmm. Liberty, kung sana mapanood mo to, or hindi. May, may interview niya ako sa Facebook group niya. Pinag-usapan namin to. Sina- Shit, so, sorry. May prediction ako doon na nagkatoto. Okay? So, so ginagawa ni Gary Vee minsan yung may pinrediction three, oh, four man, years three, ago. Ah, three balikan niya yung video. Pabalikan ko. <laughs> hahanapin ko talaga yon. Eh, papakita ko sa inyo. Sinabi ko to. Magkakaroon ng magbaburst yung bubble. Freelancing bubble. Yung itong, itong eco, gig economy. Magkakaroon ng imbalance sa supply and demand. Siyempre, hindi ko na-predict yung pandemic. Okay? But, but it's what's gonna happen. Imagine. 50, if umabot ng 20 million na wala ng jobs, sino? Sila, sila rin yung makakalaban natin. Di ba? Sa online, sa online sphere. And, and yeah, it's an interesting, hanapin ko siya, pakita ko sa inyo, pero that's, basically, it's the point eh. So start now. Start now. And yun nga, you can build on the things that we talked about earlier. Sabi mo, ano pa, paano mag-start? Anong skill? Hanap ka mm-hmm. ng, mag- ng skill to, to focus on, obsess on. But yeah, do it. Do it. Kung nahihirapan ka, um, to, uh, and, and I understand that naman, you can ask us questions right now. You can answer questions. Sige. Kung may business idea ako, gano, next, okay ba to? Gawin ko ba to? Paano ba to? Sige na, ask it. Or message me. Try ko sagutin. Pero, 
you have to start. That's that's all I know right now. You have to start, and yeah, you can ask us. You can you can figure it out then. But but now is not the time to suffer analysis paralysis. Eh, kasi sayang sayang din talaga. Yeah, and and daming and daming ane jane. Eh. Uh, kung bago yung learning yung information nandyan na eh. nag nagbigay and dami nga nag free nung last time di ba yung mga courses and dami may mga invent yung mga magagandang courses naman din uh, nandyan lang din eh hahanapin mo na lang actually nag free nga ginawa namin free yung SMA <laughs> for a while eh actually kung may nakikinig dito na hindi SMA student okay if hindi ka SMA student just share one thing that you learned uh, from this podcast okay Pili tayo ng mga isa or dalawa na tao. Bigyan ko kayo ng free access for one month. Okay, so share something that you learned from this. And if not, like, what are your thoughts then sa mga napag-uusapan natin? Like, the things that we talk about, creating your own economy, starting your own side business or, or online business. Yeah, share it out. And mali mo, baka makatulong din sa'yo. Bigyan ka namin ng one month access. Uh, check it out. Maybe it can start, help you start a business. Maraming nag take na course and yun nakapag-start ng sarili na online business because it teaches you really how to take advantage of the world today and how to do online. So yeah. Ang lawak, ang lawak kasi uh, yeah, being being part of uh, SMA's batch 3. Hindi lang siya social media <laughs> marketing. <laughs> ang dami ng topics dun sa loob. Ah, uh, lawak, may may chatbot, may is may ano, copywriting Diba? Lahat ng general skills na kailangan mo to thrive in this freelancing world, actually, nandun na eh. Nandun na. Pero siguro, uh, ito sa mga, isa sa mga final questions ko for, for the night. Do. Uh, what what advice can you give someone to actually take the first step? I mean, we've been talking about take the action, take the action. Pero, I mean, sometimes it's, it gets more. Mm-hmm. What's 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 your advice to to them to take that first step? Tangina game na first step. Hindi <laughs> rapsha kasi depends if the person already has a monetizable skill eh. Kung wala pa then learn. Learn. Uh, learn it. Kung wala pa. No? Maklarify, maklarify. Yes. Hanapin mo siya, aralin mo siya. And if you do that, if you get to do that, then you can start a business. You, I mean, you can start to do it na. So how? Well, marami yan. Kasi iba kasi nag-isip, kailangan ko ba ng puhunan dyan? Kailangan ko ba mag-register ng business ko agad? O wala pang product? Kailangan ko ba? Hindi mo kailangan lahat ng yun agad, okay? If it's a product, mag-pre-order ka. Validate your idea. Test it out. Sell it kahit wala pa. Gawin mo mura. Kung mari, uh, plano mo magbenta ng mari, healthy meals ngayon. Kasi hmm. syempre, iba. Yeah. Ano na? Um, eh, hindi mo pa naayos yung kusina mo or hindi mo pa naano mag-pre, mag-pre-sell ka na post ka ito yung, yung magiging menu in 3 weeks maglo-launch kami ito yung magiging menu normally I would charge uh, 1,500 per week for this meal plan uh, pero if you uh, subscribe right now 700 na lang 750 for you di ba? so kasi it only becomes a business when you actually start to make money eh and I think yun yung naging roadblock ng mga tao, parang puro idea, boboeng, ganyan. Charge. Charge something. Kahit, piece, kahit limang, limang piso. Kahit, kahit isang daang piso, maningil ka na. Get something. Get like, make it feel, make yourself feel na it's an actual business and, and it's only a business if you're making money out of it. Yeah. Diba? Uh, or it becomes a, like a monetizable skill if you actually monetize it. Diba? So, habang nag-aaral ka, gawin mo na yun. Kahit hanap ka ng friend mo na business owner or kung hindi, kung hindi man kung hindi man B2B, kung uh, business to consumer, kung mga produkto, hindi ganun nga. Mag-pre-order, pre-sell. Tingnan mo na yung temper, hit-check hit mo na yung Facebook friends mo, sino interested. Mag-message ka ng mga tao na baka interested. A lot of these things kasi you don't need a course for or you hmm. don't need to enroll in like certain things. Yung mag-message ba sa mga Facebook friends mo, kaya ko sabihin sa'yo yun ngayon, gawin mo eh. Uh, sulatan ko yung template ano sasabihin mo sa Facebook friends mo pa to validate an idea yun yung alam mag-enroll gawin mo lang yun sa, on average Filipinos daw have 700 to 1,000 something Facebook friends sa 1,500 na yun walang kahit isa <laughs> wala sa'yo huwag, mo, huwag nyo akong lohin message mo lahat yan di ba ganun lang but some kasi some, we, we all as humans it's normal for us to make excuses I also make them 
I also make them. I'm I'm still so many pounds away from my goal. Um, gusto ko rin siyempre ng papayat, pero puro excuse, di ako nag-exercise enough. So ako din nag excuse ako. Di ba? So naiintindihan ko yan. Naiintindihan ko yan. Iba lang yung, ano ko, yung sa weakness ko ngayon, weight loss. Yan talaga yung kalaban ko. Pero naiintindihan ko, we make excuses all the time. So stop. Let's stop making the excuse. If wala ka pang alam, learn it. Hindi mo alam saan mag-umpisa. There's YouTube. It's the best. Iwasan mo na lang muna. Wag po kang, pumunta ka sa mindset niya. Wag kang masyadong ma-hype. Kasi baka nagganda ka sa mga videos, nag-enroll ka sa $1,000 course, tapos nabaon ka. Huwag ka, huwag ka ma-hype. Okay? Mag-promise ako, huwag ka ma-hype. Okay? Free lang muna. Wala tayong pera. Mahirap pa tayo ngayon. Ganun yung mindset mo. Mahirap pa ako. Free lang. Okay? Kung hindi ka naniniwala na posible yun, maniwa- ngayon maniwala ka. Kasi hindi, it wasn't until I was 25 years old na nagbayad ako para sa isang course. And I ended up just fine. Okay? So, and I'm not dissing uh, courses like obviously meron ng meron din kami program pero yun eh I think it's ex- we make excuses and that's why we don't take action. So just kill the excuse first. Yeah. Then you can learn, then you can take action and then all the things follow. Yun kill the excuses guys, no. Pero bago tayo matapos for tonight, meron pa kasi isang <laughs> online uh, talk si Nick in a bit. Uh siguro question lang Nick, um uh, I, I, we, you have your upcoming digital marketing bootcamp. Uh, tell, tell us something about the program. Yeah, so we're going to be doing a digital marketing bootcamp on May 16. And actually, super interesting because in 2016, so for those who was just learning about me for the first time, and even the people now who have gotten to know me over the years, in 2016, mid-2016 was actually the first time I came out in public, okay? In terms of, like, hindi naman arrival party, but like, people kasi before then, like, knew nothing about me. No digital footprint, ganyan, ganyan. But then, I, I sort of just had this idea wherein I'm just gonna post everything I know on Facebook because no one was doing it. At that point in time, um, no offense to older marketers, but no one was really sharing anything. 2013, like early days, no one was sharing anything. And I understand because I also wasn't sharing. I could have started in 20, 20, 2009, 2010 when I was already doing it, pero hindi, may, may culture ng kadamutan before. And I'm sure mga matatagal sa industry mal, mag-agree din. Hindi namin kasi, hindi naman siya kasalanan, pero talaga at that time, kasi parang may insecurities ka din eh. May ibang business owners, like hindi sila ninawala sa digital, ibang ano, is like Alam mo, matatakot ka. Baka pag natinuro mo to, baka gayahin. Like ako, immaturities, ganyan-ganyan. So it wasn't until 2016 that I really decided, okay, I'm gonna do something no one's done before. Uh, at least in the Philippines at that time, I started posting. And if you doubt that, you can go on my Facebook profile. Halungkatin mo, mga luma kong Facebook group. Para malaman nyo sino talaga nauna dyan. Okay? Hindi sa pagyawang, pero baka kasi iba. Hindi naman. Hindi, tingnan nyo lang. Tingnan nyo lang. Hanapin mo, 2016. Um, so months and months and months of doing that every day. Tas minsan na invite tayo sa mga talk, na invite tayo sa mga events. Bigla may nagsabi sa akin, gawa gawa ka ng ano, ng bootcamp, ng workshop sa sarili mo. Ganyan. So tulungan ka namin mag-organize kanya ganyan. So tatawag pa madaw sa ganyan. Sabi ko sige. So that was actually the, uh, the, the first digital marketing bootcamp. Okay? It was the first digital marketing bootcamp since 2016. So like I think mid 2016 or like Q2 or Q3 I think ganun siya Ju- July or August ganyan siya. And in like in in one day uh or like in 2 hours we we got like 200 people to attend that. It was very cheap din kasi. Um and, and that I would say that event really was uh me just like 4 to 5 hours really teaching how, how to get started and like implementing digital marketing to get customers, diba? Mm-hmm. Whatever vertical it is, like how you set up these campaigns. And normally kasi, th- there would always be courses about certain things. Siyempre, gagawa ko course, papalawakin. Siyempre, kung na, SEO. Siyempre, gagawa ko SEO course, yung pwedeng 30 minutes ko lang sabihin. Explain ko lahat na sobrang deep. And I okay. found out that people didn't have enough time or like the bandwidth to learn all that. So I decided to create a program where I could touch all those different things Customer, uh, uh, crafting your message, finding your target audience, uh, 
social media marketing, some email marketing, some SEO, like and content marketing and bind them all together in a way that it's not hard for you to just get started. Kahit hindi ka expert. Okay? Kahit hindi ka mag-spend ng days and days learning about SEO, like you will learn all these fundamentals and you roll it out. And that's what the Digital Marketing Bootcamp is. And the, la- and the last time I did one was uh, in 2017. Why? Because sobrang nakakapagod siya. So I'm going to say four to five hours straight, diba? And ngayon, we're doing it again. And mas na pagut pa rin siya, pero since nasa bahay lang, ni kotata yo or like, alam mo yun, <laughs> yo, biyahe, <laughs> mas, mas, mas chill siya. And that's why we're excited to really do it because now is the time. Now is the time to take advantage of, hmm. of that, of, 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 of this. Like, take advantage of, of the skills of, of that kind of knowledge. And I'm, I'll be happy to share it. Um, with people who will attend the, the the upcoming workshop. So I don't know if we can link it here or uh, we can share more info about it. You can yeah. message us uh, about it and we can invite you. It's it's in a really um, uh, friendly rate right now because we want to help as many uh, people as we can. It can be a, like business owners or if you're a freelancer and you want to add more value to your clients uh, so you can serve them better during these times or so you could use it for your own business. I think it would be a great uh, program and bootcamp to have because it's not just the four hours. Meron tayong continuity. Meron tayong, parang, meron pa tayong group coaching na pagkatapos. And like the first 10, first 20 people get even some one-on-one time with me and all that. Yeah, um, one-on-one coaching pa. Yeah. It's exciting. It's exciting. And I'm I'm personally excited to do it kahit alam mo mapapagod na naman ako doon kasi now is the time. Like I wouldn't have done it if like if, if this is not the what's happening now. Baka hindi ko na lang siya ginawa eh. Kasi, yun talaga yung pinakakakapagod kong ginagawa. Na, pero, I think it's super needed right now. And if you're in that boat where you kind of need to know the next step so that you can get a head start. And so, you can still bring in revenue right now. Kasi iba, yeah. I think, nakikita ko na papako eh. Kasi nga, pandemic, ko lang magbibenta ba ako ano klaseng messaging ibibigay ko what kind of marketing message I'm gonna do. Actually, yun yung i-address natin. Na even today, after that workshop, well, depending on how fast you execute, you can keep bringing in clients. And if, even if you just close one or even if you just have that breakthrough, kahit isang piraso lang doon, it would be more than what you paid for. So yeah, we're inviting everyone to hop on right while we still have some slots. So yeah, just let us know. I'd be happy to have you guys. Yeah, nandito yung ano, sa comments, uh, meron tayo dito na dun sa link natin, na yung description. And syempre, uh, next before we end, uh, alam kong, eh, ano na eh, mag-start na daw kayo. <laughs> uh, before, before we end the show, uh, question ko is, so ano, yung, ano yung final message mo sa mga friends natin that are that do want to start up or are having some problems with their uh, situations right now? First of all, I would say that Nothing is more important right now than than staying safe, uh, staying home, taking care of yourself, uh, eating, sleeping well, um, taking vitamins. And that is one of like the most important things. Uh, staying sane, right, and having good, being okay mentally and like emotionally. That's the first thing. Like first and foremost, I'm not gonna pretend that the most important thing right now is learning marketing and starting with no. Uh, first, take care of yourself. Take care of your family, your loved ones. Right? If you're at that point where you understand that and you're like get, being at peace with this new normal already, right? And alam mo na na hindi pwedeng ganito, hindi tayo pwedeng umasa lang sa mga trabaho or sa existing clients. If you understand, like you have that consciousness na, then now is the time to start. Like now is the, once you take care of all that, it, this is like really go time. Um, it's your time to try something out. Maybe get out of your comfort zone and try something that maybe you haven't um, done before or something that you've always wanted to try. So do it and just get started. And it can be as simple as charging a very low, a low, low amount just to prove your concept, right? Or as it can be as kahit nga hindi money eh. Kahit gusto matagal mo nang gustong gumawa ng email list, then just tell people that you're starting an email list, of a newsletter, and if they want to receive these kinds of updates, just sign up to this form, di ba? Like, you can take these baby steps, but the most important thing is actually taking them and not just planning them out and just 
it's a thing I'm gonna do it next week next week next week so yeah start that YouTube channel start that podcast start that blog start that email list take advantage of the screen time that people are spending right now on, on these social media channels it's an all time high uh, go do it diba and, 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 and just to close like I always subscribe to this philosophy that I learned a couple of years ago they say that in social media and I think this applies not just in social media just because yun yung ginagamit na lahat so social media and but yeah in the world so they say that 90% of people are naturally just lurkers meaning kung sa social media 90% ng tao they just read they just consume back they consumers consuming content and then 9% actually consume and actually also post or actually speak up then. But they speak about, about things na doesn't really add value to anyone. Like, for example, ranting about traffic before or like crying about like annoying neighbor na kapit bahay mo or like about the government. Mga ganyan. Yun yung 9%. But they say there's that 1% where the 1%, there's a 1%, the one percenters, the 1% of people who actually decide that they want to add real value to people, create something meaningful. Cre- and it starts with by creating content, by putting it, by, by putting that vision out there and letting people know. And it's just 1% of people who do that. So that's my challenge to you. Be part of the 1%ers. Because when you're part of the 1%, it means there's that 99%. Seeing 99%, sila yung masayang mag-consume ng kung ano man yung gagawin mo, di ba? Yeah. And just look at the odds. The odds are in your favor. If you just look at that very simple math, I suck at math, so ganun lang siya kasimple yung mga kaya ko intindihin. But you look at that, di ba? If you're in the 1%, take advantage of the 99%, the 90% lurkers, the 9% who are so, so, so. Just put yourself out, just, just go do it. And I know it can be hard, so don't do it if you're like still trying to process all these things. Uh, please take care of yourself mentally and emotionally. But if you're the, in the mind that uh, you're ready for that next level, Now is the time, my friends. Now is yeah. the time. Sobrang solid nun. Kaya, very, very important, guys. Always give value. Walang mawawala eh. Walang mawawala. Dami mong matutulungan. And, uh, ang sarap din ng feeling. Once you get to that point that you're really, really giving lots and lots of value to people, bumabalik din yung value na yun sa'yo. Di ba, Nix? Yes. All right. So, yun lang yung session natin for tonight. Siyempre, uh, super nag-enjoy ako dito. Uh, Ang dami kong natutunan dito I, kay, with Nix ngayong, ngayong gabi na to. And uh, message lang kayo or comment lang kayo. Again, ang daming uh, pwede kayong ano eh. Ang daming yung pwede matutunan eh. Pero it all starts also by taking that step. Okay? And as, asking questions. Uh, message lang kayo. We'd love to help you. Uh, kung ano nga, share nyo yung, yung sabi ni Nix kanina pag uh, i- me- i-comment nyo lang yung learnings nyo or i-message nyo yung learnings nyo for the session uh, tingnan niya if uh, he could he could probably assist you with the yeah, yeah, uh, go do it, ano, go do it. <laughs> registration <laughs> alright, so yun lang, Nick super super duper thank you for tonight pare Uh, yeah. I know we're we're Thank jumping you. in we're jumping into the next online session. <laughs> you don't know about that, but but I'll I'll message you offline. But yeah, uh, yeah. Oh, uh, sige guys. So, ayun, thank you so much for joining us sa Inside the Mind of uh, episode number 43 with Nick Sanigo and see you on the next episodes coming soon. Have a great Thank night. You. Thank you. Bye. Good night.